If you're trying to use OpenOffice for the worksheet, this video will hopefully help you access MathType inside of OpenOffice. As you see here, I've got a folder open uh, with a Word document. Um, I'll open this Word document in OpenOffice. It's a bit strange, but for some reason, in, on my computer, the option I needed to select is SWriter. SWriter is somehow a synonym for OpenOffice. So I'll get the worksheet open in OpenOffice. To use MathType in OpenOffice, what I need to do is insert a MathType object into OpenOffice. Okay, so uh, to start with though, uh, let's get the cursor in an area where I'd like to put an answer. So like underneath the question is a good spot. Get my cursor there underneath the question. And then I'll come up here to insert in the menus. Select that. Scroll down to the option object. And then a new menu appears slide over to that menu and choose the very first option there, OLE object. So I'll select that. After selecting OLE object, I get another menu. I'll scroll down this menu looking for math type. It doesn't appear, but there's a option here for further objects. Hopefully under that choice, I'll see math type. So I'll select that and slide over here and select OK. And now I get yet another menu. I'll scroll down this menu looking for math type. There it appears. So I'll select it. And then choose OK. And with that, I get a math type window open in my, uh, on my computer. Um, now I can answer the question. I was asked to evaluate sine of pi over 3. So I'll just very quickly do that. The intention in this video isn't to tell you uh, how to press all the buttons and that sort of thing in math type, but instead just to show you how to access it. So I'll do this rather quickly. Um, get my fraction out of the uh, template that looks like a fraction. Oh, I just changed the question, right? <laughs> I'm going too fast. I'll cut that, paste it over here, and come back here and put a different fraction. The fraction I need here is pi over. There you go. But anyway, I write some stuff here in my math type window, and then I'm going to want to get it inserted into the Open Office document. The uh, way I'll accomplish that is simply by closing the math type window. When I press close here, it'll just automatically be inserted into the math type object. I mean, into the Open Office document. So I'll close it right now. Boom! It appears. Now, if this is the first time you've used Open Office, um, it won't it probably won't just automatically be inserted into the document. I believe when you cl click close on your math type window, you'll get some kind of warning pop-up window that will ask you what you want to do with the open the math type object. It'll ask you, do you want to insert it? Do you want to save it? Something like that. If you select yes, I just want to insert it into the open office document, it should work just like what's happened here for me. And I believe you'll get, a, there'll be a little uh, box you could check that um, would allow you to avoid being asked what to do with the math type object each time you attempt to close one of those windows. In other words, you can get it set up so that every time you close the math type window, the, doc the, the, the object is automatically inserted into your open office document. That's how I've got it set up, which is why um, immediately, I'll do it one more time, just if I have an open office, a, a, a math type object open, all I need to do is close the window and it just automatically pops up into the word processor. Um, so hopefully you can set your stuff to work like that too. Um, anyway, I hope this helps.